Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Catherine Hur is off tonight. I'm Ken Malloy. Eyewitness News investigates there is a battle brewing in Hanford over the location of marijuana dispensaries. They want to open up near a facility which helps troubled kids get off of drugs like marijuana. CBS 47's chief investigative reporter Eric Rosales shows us city officials say all they're doing is following the law. Well, Ken, CBS 47 uncovered at least six cannabis companies are vying for the last dispensary permit in the city of Hanford. Last month, Caliva was awarded one of the two permits. Now the city council will decide on who will get the other one. But at least two pot shops vying for the permit want to open up near a West Care facility. That's a facility that provides mental health treatment along with rehabilitation for adults and kids. If you don't get this area protected now for what it is, a youth center, center protecting our children, working with our children in this area that's truly needed, you're going to lose. Dennis Fasoni owns the building which Westcare operates in. Fasoni says he doesn't understand why the city of Hanford doesn't see it as a youth facility, which would prevent the cannabis business from moving in within 600 feet of it. So it's an adolescent center. We've been taking care of the youth for so many years, and I, I just feel they're being abandoned. And my, we're just not going to put up with it. Westcare Deputy Chief Operating Officer Sean Jenkins agrees. He says for 13 years the center has helped kids and veterans. Besides seeing doctors, Jenkins says it is a youth center because on the lower level is a drop-in center for kids to engage with each other. They can go down there and play video games, play some foosball. And it gets them a place that they can do that and not get in trouble and have a place that's supportive for them. We believe that a cannabis dispensary can be located within 600 care because it is not a youth facility. Hanford City officials say the West Care facility functions more like a doctor's office, which is exempt. A youth facility is defined both in our municipal code in state law as a facility primarily used to host recreation and social activities for minors. But not all are in agreement. The building sits in Francisco Ramirez's district. The city councilman says he supports the cannabis industry, but not at the expense of kids. Councilman Ramirez says it's all about money. I really believe it's about the, the whole money issue. Uh, the long-term uh, viability because for each dispensary that we develop strategically there's about a million dollars in annual sales tax. So far city staff has interviewed the dispensary owners vying for the final permit. The Hanford City Council is expected to make its decision on who gets it and where the final dispensary will be, will be placed. Right now the, uh, the item is on the agenda for the November 5th City Council meeting that's going to take place at 7 p.m. Eric Rosales, CBS 47, Eyewitness News. Ken.